Photos capture huge explosion as remaining sections of Genoa Bridge are demolished. Three warning sirens two brief ones followed by a longer one preceded the controlled explosions used to bring down the remaining two immense pylons of Genoa's Morandi Bridge Friday morning. More than a ton of explosives were used to carry out the delicate engineering feat, which brought about 50,000 tons of concrete crashing to earth without causing injury. The large-scale operation never before tested in took place at 9 a.m. local time and only lasted about 6 seconds. Since the collapse of sections of the highway bridge last August, which killed 43 people, local and government officials have been doggedly working to remove the remaining portions of the bridge and to speed up plans to replace it with a new one, which they hope will be ready by April 2020. Much of the collapsed bridge had already been dismantled in the past months. But for months now, engineers and workers have been concentrating on readying the area for the demolition of the two remaining pylons with this morning's controlled explosions. To dampen the huge dust cloud expected to engulf part of the city and possibly spread to the rest workers positioned large quantities of sand and readied ingenious water devices with about 1,500 tons of water on hand. Walls of netting third, a 2,000-foot range area around the explosion site will remain closed off until it is safe to re-enter. Civil protection of the remaining 3,500 residents had to leave before 7.30 am and will be informed when they can return to their homes, depending on the air quality. Local residents are traffic in the area was diverted in the early morning hours, with roads and highways nearby closed and not scheduled to reopen until about 10 pm Friday. The collapse of the Morandi Bridge, which was built in the 1960s, is believed to have been caused by the rusting of steel cables embedded in the concrete structure, but the investigation into the disaster is still ongoing. Search for location slash city.